Hey, my name's Nate, and I'm here to tell you how to reconcile your bank accounts using QuickBooks Online. Well, first, what is reconciliation? Reconciliation is simply the process of matching up your bank statements with the statements seen in QuickBooks Online. Now, there are two things you need to do before reconciling your accounts in QuickBooks Online. The first is to make sure that to record all of your transactions in QuickBooks. The second is to make sure that you have all of your bank statements handy so that you can compare them to the statements in QuickBooks Online. So this is gonna be your main dashboard. This is what you first see when you log into QuickBooks Online. To get to the reconciliation homepage, you're gonna first go to the accounting tab and then click on the reconcile tab. A few things I wanna point out on this page. First is gonna be the account that you wish to reconcile, which is gonna be, for this example, the checking account, but you can select from a drop-down menu of many different options. Next, I wanna point out the beginning balance, then the ending balance, and the ending date. So here is where you'll want to have your bank statements handy. You'll want to enter in the ending balance on your bank statement in this spot right here. And you'll also want to put in the ending date here as well for that month. In this example, we'll just go to the bank register to get our ending balance, which you'll see at the top right corner here. We're going to go ahead and copy that, that number right there. And then we'll go ahead and input it right here. Also, because this is a demo, we're going to be reconciling the entire history of the account rather than what you would usually do on a month-to-month -month basis. So for that, we're going to select the ending date as today's date, March 10th, and then we can begin the reconciliation process. We'll go here to start reconciling. So in a real-world scenario, you're going to want to have your bank statement handy and make sure that the transactions from your bank statement match the transactions seen on QuickBooks Online. If they do match, go ahead and select that specific transaction and be sure to go through each and every transaction and make sure that they match. So once you're finished checking all of the transactions, if you've done everything correctly by matching your bank statements to the QuickBooks Online statements, there should be a $0 difference in this corner right here. For whatever reason, if there's not a $0 difference, be sure to check that everything is entered incorrectly and there are no duplicate entries, or go to the Edit Info tab and make sure that your ending balance is correctly matched with your bank statements balance. Now in the end, once you're finished with everything, go ahead and hit finish now, and then you have successfully reconciled this account. If you wanna see a full report of this reconciliation, go ahead and click that tab. And this page will just be a more specific version of what we just did. It'll have all of the transactions listed between your bank statement and your QuickBooks Online statement, and it'll be successfully reconciled. You can also view a history of your reconciliations by going to this tab right here and seeing a total list of all the reconciliations that you've accomplished throughout the history of your QuickBooks Online account. So for your next month's statement, if everything is added up correctly and that you've successfully reconciled everything, the beginning balance of the next month should be the ending balance of the previous month. And as you can see, everything matches up and our beginning balance is the ending balance of last month. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful and would like to watch more educational tutorials on QuickBooks, please visit our eBiz Charge YouTube channel. If you'd like to learn more about how you can reduce your credit card processing cost and simplify your accounts receivable on QuickBooks, visit ebizcharge.com.